Hey, I'm Sophia. And I'm Sanjana. And we're, and we're the, the SS, SS Science. Science. Get ready to sail with us through, through a sea of scientific knowledge. Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing an experiment called Making Slime, and we're going to learn all about polymers. It's an easy experiment, but as always, you need to have parental permission while you're doing this. Here's what you'll need. Um, just regular glue, we always like to use Elmer's. Saline solution, most contact solutions work for this. Baking soda. Uh, measuring cups, water, a bowl, and optional but recommended is food coloring. The first thing to do is put one half cup of glue and one half cup of water into the bowl. The next thing to do is add a few drops of food coloring or glitter into your solution. Today we're only using food coloring. Now add one half teaspoon of baking soda into the bowl. Next add one tablespoon of your saline solution to the bowl which is probably contact solution. Now, using a popsicle stick or something else disposable, mix together everything in your bowl. The two most important ingredients in the slime are glue and the solution. The glue is made up of polymers, and contact solution has something in it called borax, which helps to bind together the polymers in the glue and form the slime. Eventually, your slime should look like this. If it doesn't, try adding little bits of contact solution at a time until it starts to bind and become like what you see in front of you right now. So what are polymers? That's a great question. Polymers are essentially really large molecules that are made up of many smaller molecules called monomers. It's easy to visualize if you think about a huge paperclip chain. The entire chain would be the polymer, but the individual paperclips within it would be the monomer. Uh, so what types of polymers are there? So there are many things that we use in daily life or that we hear about that are actually polymers. For example, you have wool, silk, natural rubber, and cellulose. Wait, wait, but all those things are like so different. How can they all be polymers? The cool thing about polymers is that the way they function depends on the monomers they're made up of and how the monomers are connected. So if you think of polymers like rubber and silk, they act the way they do based on their monomers and the way those monomers are connected to each other. Um, so a polymer basically only describes the structure of a molecule. Um, if you think of a chain, the chain could be made out of paper clips or paper or some kind of other metal linkages, but they'd still all be polymers. And the way that those polymers would act would be based on the monomers within them and the, the way in which those monomers are connected. So polymers can be made of any type of molecule? Actually, no, there are only specific molecules that can form polymers, and we use a specific word, monomers, to denote those kind of molecules. So why are polymers so important? They actually play a very key part in our life. For example, DNA, cellulose, and proteins are all polymers, and we can also industrially manufacture artificial polymers. For example, that would refer to the plastic in your water bottles or certain clothing fabrics like nylon. But how does slime work? Okay, so slime is actually pretty interesting. Glue has polymer molecules in it, and the added water makes it so that these polymer molecules can move very easily past each other, so it, it's kind of very liquidy, the whole concoction. As I said before, though, when we add the saline solution, which has borax in it, to the water, it forms something called a borate ion, and these borate ions uh, connected all the polymers in the glue together, so it made it more viscous, like what you see in front of you right now. Pulling the slime apart slowly allows the polymers to kind of stretch and form into the shape that you're making it go into, but when you do it really quickly, the, the chemical bond between the polymers breaks and you have two handfuls of slime left. That was really interesting. Great. I hope you learned something and I hope you did too. Thank you for voyaging with us on the SS Science. We hope you had fun learning.